bunny. Darn it! I'm a bunny, darn it! And I want to be a bunny, darn it! Welcome to another episode of Game Sense Slow and Battery. We play a game slowly and most often badly. Today we are going to do two things. We're going to clean up a little bit of the overworld, uh, and we're going to go and delve into the Ice Palace, one of the most, 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 most frustrating dungeons in the entire game due to the sheer amount of backtracking that needs to, <laughs> that needs to happen. You might be saying, well, S Swamp was was pretty serious in terms of backtracking. How much worse can this be? Oh, no, 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 no. It is literally built in a way that you cannot avoid backtracking. By the way, I don't know if I've ever pointed this out, but there's a really effective fairy fountain right outside your window. As part of sort of what I do, I always ensure that I top up before I head out and explore. Uh, mostly because I know how thoroughly, thoroughly inept I am. And how at any point in time I am moments from death. Into the dark world. Alright, so welcome back to the dark world. We've been here before. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, simply on the basis of we're going to get a new item that is, I'm going to say, absolutely no help. It's absolutely no help. Uh, it won't help us at all in what we're about to do. The boss in this next level, I, if this is the one, if this is the one that I'm thinking of, uh, is weak against this, but it almost doesn't matter because there's a much better way of doing this. Look at this. We got the Book of Medora, and we got this Gibble Gobble. What does it say? Hold up the Master Sword, and you will get the magic of Bombos. Yep, this is the one. So, Bombos uh, is a fire magic. Uh, it makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. So, it can be used interchangeably, to some extent, uh, with the Fire Rod. Why is that important? Well, we're going to the Ice Palace, so I will let you, uh, the viewer, figure that out. And if you can't figure that out, well, then, frankly, I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. We have many, 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 many hearts, which is exciting. Uh, by the end of this, I'm hoping to have every single heart when we fight Ganon. That is uh, my goal within this Let's Play to be at 100%. Uh, all optional items, all heart pieces, fully upgraded, uh, and just ripping people apart. So you remember this is the fairy fountain where we got all the upgrades. It also hides a portal to the dark world. Which if you are not, if you are a kid, is a little unfair. Right, because it's not like it tells you how to get here. Uh, it doesn't say, hey, go to that fairy fountain and then do stuff. Lunk, the magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh! So, Fire Rod. Fire Rod is your friend. Bombos can also be used in lieu of Fire Rod. Uh, and when not using the Fire Rod, the hook shot is also quite wonderful because it stops your progression a little bit and gives you a second to think because those light blue uh, boxes on the floor are ice. And ice behaves in a fairly accurate way. Uh, you maintain your momentum going forward, here we go, for a pretty significant period of time. Alright, these evil penguins uh, are all over this dungeon, and they are probably the worst part about this dungeon, maybe next to the ice. And we got a compass! You can now pinpoint the lair of the dungeon's evil master. There we go. So as you can see, you need to go into each of these rooms because you need to push the block 
over and over and over again. And every time you go in one of these rooms, the door locks on you. Or you needed something out of that room. Uh, despite the fact that this dungeon features ice, it is actually shockingly limited in terms of positional uh, positional traps. There's a few of those anti fairies, but as we know, we can get rid of those. We can get rid of those. Uh, so it's not terrible. There might be a way to trick this. You don't have to do all the loops again. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to do this the right quote-unquote way. And by the right way, I mean the long way. Oh, look. It's the Hasrala. Ah, and a skeleton. You cannot destroy the skeleton knight with the sword alone. When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon. So what do you do if you're playing this for the first time? You start hitting him with the freaking hammer, hoping that he dies. And what turns out is actually the bombs. The hammer will do literally nothing, which is unfortunate, because that could be a lot of fun. This game will be generous and give you bombs all over the place. Up. Oh. This is, I think, one of the better made dungeons in the game, although it is literally nobody's favorite. I mean, this was the Super NES equivalent of um, the Water Temple. From Ocarina of Time. Yeah. Yeah, this was the fundamental equivalent of the water temple. It is terrible. Alright, uh, these things also make this a little bit difficult, but it's more so trying to get you to use your items. Oh, which is kind of neat! You know, it's making you think about your items in a different way. This game, uh, unlike other games where your items are pretty linear, you know, they do one thing, gave you a lot of options when it came to how you use your gear. Oh! Yeah! I'm doing surprisingly well at this. Oh! Death. Ha-ha! Uh, over here? Ah, oh, you turkey. You turkey. That's unfortunate. Wrong guess. Long, do not use all your magic power if you do not possess the medicine of magic. Now get ready to go into the depths of this dungeon. Thanks. I thought I was already there. All right. Oh, is this a secret where you have to go and, and take a secret path that you can't... No. It's literally just a hookshot. As a kid, I think I ran over that like a hundred times trying to find the magic secret, uh, secret path. Because I'm like, well, obviously this game wants me to do that. No, it, the game does not want you to do that. Now this is nifty. Let's stop here for just a second. Uh, these guys are annoying and they're more of a distraction. But there's this thing you can clearly hookshot to. Cool, well now I'm stuck on this side. What if I want to get back? Wait a second. Oh snap. It actually gives you a way to get back here. And now suddenly you're not uh, trapped in hell. Alright, so hook shot all day long in this dungeon. Oh no, go back. Come on, go down, go down, go down, go down, go down. Go down. I found this hard as a kid, too. I must be an idiot. That's really gonna be it. There we go. I've really just come to the conclusion that it must just be that I'm an idiot. Die. Oop. Okay. We got some bombs. Can I... No. 
I think there's a way to bomb jump that, meaning that you can set yourself up to clip over that. That's an awesome item in there, by the way. Um, if you've never played this game, you're going to see something, and if you are a huge fan, which I hope you are if you're watching this, frankly. I don't know why you're watching this if you're not a Zelda fan. I mean, this is not the prettiest game in the world, and I am not that interesting. But uh, there's something that you'll geek out about, hopefully. Because I geek out about it every time I think about it. Oh god, I hate this, 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 I hate this. There we go. What do we get? A key. Now here's we're gonna burn one key. We're gonna ignore him, because I don't need to deal with that today. We're gonna go back this way. And up. Because I should have gone for up. Oh, I should have gone further. Here we go. Sherp derp, 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 derp. I'm considering, when we're done with this, running a randomizer. Um, it's something I, I've wanted to do. I've done it before. As my own, you know, personal little wanting to do. Um, I think it might be fun. Hey, look at this. Stuff that we can do. And junk. Hey, look, a skeleton. So as I go through here, I'm practicing menuing. Bunny beam. Yeah, just trying to get my menu speed up a little bit, and hopefully that'll help. Map! Okay, now we can look at this behemoth. Alright, <laughs> floor one. Basement 1, Basement 2, Basement 3, Basement 4, Basement 5, Basement 6, Basement 7 holds the boss. This place is immense. It absolutely, a thousand percent lives up to the name of Palace. And boss key. But we're not skipping the big chest in this one. Oh no, we're not. Bunny. Darn it! I'm a bunny, darn it! And I want to be a bunny, darn it! Alright. Alright, full magic. Come in here. Do one of these things. Come up this way. Do one of these things. Yep. That's not gonna help me. Drop a bomb. Drop a bomb. You can actually pre-queue that bomb if you want, if you know exactly where you're going to drop him. Um, I'm not that good, at least at this point. You little turd. Come on! There we go. Don't die. Right now. Don't die! One thing that's unfortunate isn't in this game that was in one of the earlier Link's games. Uh, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy had a fun feature where you could actually uh, do this thing with the item called the Rock's Feather that allowed you to jump. Um, where you could, uh, <laughs> by using the Rock's Feather and the Hookshot, you had a frame. You had a frame where you could do these, um, 
these cool swag uh, hookshot strats uh, where you basically were able to stand over pets. Which might not seem like a huge deal, but just think about how much you can break the game when so much of the game is reliant on you not falling in a pit, if you can just walk over them. The blue male. This armor reduces the damage that you take from enemies. Okay, guys. Breath of the Wild, not the first game to give Link blue mail. Not at all. Um, this game gave you blue mail long before that, and frankly, I think that the blue and yellow combo is pretty cool looking. Uh, I'm gonna get hit. <laughs> Alright, well, the time of doing well is now over. Alright, time to fall down to pits, because my luck is over. Uh, I gotta get back up, I gotta hit a uh, toggle switch, and then I get back to that uh, hole in the floor room. Actually, I think I could have done it with just the big key. Oh, well, no use crying over spilled milk now. Uh, I think this will put me back there, though. There we go. Yep. I think it just need the big key. I'm not positive. Let's see. So the blue mail cuts your damage taken pretty significantly, meaning that the stuff that was hitting me for two is now going to hit me for one, which might seem insignificant, but it's actually pretty meaningful. Uh, the next upgrade is even better, obviously, but... But you need to get there first. Oh, hey, look, something we need to drop a thing on? Yes, please. <laughs> Alright. You might be asking why I'm taking out all these guys. Well, very simply, it's free, uh, free hearts and, more importantly, free magic. All right, everyone. Deep breath. Cold stare. Short of magic. That's one down. We get some lag. If you corral these guys into a corner, this begins infinitely easy. Bam! of the evil monsters. Thank you. They say the Helia people control mysterious powers, as did the seven wise men. But the blood of the Helia has become thin over time. We who carry the blood of the seven wise men do not possess strong power anymore. Either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gate of the castle linking the worlds opens completely. If you defeat Ganon, this world will vanish and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck, Lonk. Do you understand? No. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. Oh, yeah! And on that note, 
we have completed Ice Palace. One of, if not the hardest, uh, one of, if not the hardest levels in the game, and we aced that thing. Oh, that was great. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate every time someone tunes in. We have the blue mail, we have more hearts, we are heading to Turtle Rock, and we are on our way to defeat Aghanim in the Dark World and bring down the defeat of Ganon. In the meantime, we're gonna go get all the hearts, and we are gonna be all set. Thank you so much for watching, as always, and have a good night.